Power to Light, testing the uh, newest AT&Q systems, utilizing the standard transmitter, which comes with each receiver. In addition to that, we're also testing the optional control board, which controls the 18 and 20 Q system with uh, more options available. Now, this particular test, we're using the special function. Now, the special function here is, you'll notice on this transmitter, there's a toggle switch. The toggle switch, normal functioning, you can go ahead and you can set an address of one, two, or three, so you can control three different units discreetly of one another. Now, if you want, you can slide it all the way over to the fourth position. The fourth position is unique because it allows these transmitters to sequence basically 1 through 18. When this is finished, it automatically cycles to this one, 1 through 18. When this one finishes, it cycles to this one, 1 through 18. So it communicates with one another um, depending on what address you give it. Now, I'm going to turn this unit on. You'll notice it's set for uh, 0.50 seconds. This address is address 3. This is at, well, 0.5 seconds, and then the address is A2. This, of course, is also programmed to 0.5 seconds, and its address is A1. Before I turned on the recorder, I already programmed this unit to go off with this transmitter. So, all I'm going to do is give you a quick rundown. You've programmed this, this, uh, the system to work with this transmitter on the special function. You've turned them on. All the keys have to be on the on position. That's a safety. They are. They're all turned on. The transmitter is also turned on on the side. I'm going to go ahead and move this camera so you can see this better. Firing in three, two, one. Okay, so this one is firing itself off. When it finishes with the 18 cues, it's going to move over to the next one. So it's completed its function. Now, when you're testing this thing out, you'll have to remember one thing. When you're finished with the program, it has a safety function, so it won't allow itself to be fired again um, or out of sequence. In order to reset it, all you do is turn it off and on again. And then uh, back on, and it clears the code so you can go ahead and do it again. The time on these units can go all the way up to uh, 9.99 seconds. And you notice it's pretty simple to program. However, whatever the one is set for, the rest have to be on the same time. Okay, I've demonstrated how you can use that special sequence function when the transmitter is all the way over to the right. Now, let's say you wanted to upgrade your system to use one of these control desks. These control desks allow you to really maximize the number of uh, receiving units you can have. You'll notice here it's a 12 channel system, but the numbers stop at 11. And then up at the top, you have the letter S. That letter S is a special sequencing function, which is similar to having all over to the right. The other couple things on this is there, you'll notice a big red button here on the bottom left. That states confirm. This button is the dead man switch, in essence. And if you were to uh, push any of these firing buttons, whether it be single, all, step, or sequence, if your finger's not on the confirm button at the same time, it will not send its single signal. Uh, also has a key. 
none of these units will receive and none of the transmitters will send a signal if the key is not in the on position. This is the power switch. Here's the charging port. And this right here is a, uh, an ability to stop the show in progress should there be a problem. So to start with, you're going to turn the system on. We're going to program the uh, third receiver because I've already done these two to save in time. So I'll kind of show you how to do it. So turn the key on. Make sure you're on uh, the, the continue, which is all the way to the right. If you're over here, the red light comes on. It says stop. No, no uh, signal will go out. So you can have that on. You're on S because we're going to do the uh, special function on this, this transmitter. And now I'll show you how to set the program code. You go ahead and turn this system on. It starts up. You're going to go ahead and hit the program button until that red light comes on. Again, 10 seconds later, that red light will go off. And you'll be ready to uh, reprogram this transmitter. Okay. I'm going to hit the confirm button and the sequence button at the same time after I push this program button. You'll notice the red light blinks twice indicating it now has the signal. So you've programmed these things off. When you finish programming them, just turn it off to save on battery power. Now again, confirm that all of the key switches are on the on position, and they are. You hook these things up to your fireworks. You're in separate sections. Your downrange is safe. You're ready to start your program. All you do is start turning them on. On the board, you're ready to fire. We're going to go ahead and start firing in three, two, one, firing. And you'll notice the red light is going on this. I've set this one to address one. This one right here is set to address two. And this board right here is set to address three. And you notice they talk to each other. They allow each other to know when this, this board has finished its program. Okay, we've just demonstrated how you can use that special function on these uh, transmitters. So let me show you something cool. Okay, I, I mentioned before the use of this special pause button here. Okay, that'll be the next step of this demonstration. Now, when you go <coughs> when you go ahead and set this thing up, you're going to want to test this thing a few times before you have either your matches in or your igniters. So let's say that you're, you know, back away from the fireworks and it's the morning of the show and you're proactive and you go ahead and you set everything up and you run this test. You find out, you determine that you want these things to sequence uh, in coordination with one another. So you ran the test, everything went flawless. In order to redo the test later, all you have to do is turn the systems off and then back on again. Okay, now the systems are reset and ready to go. Okay, here we go. We're out in the middle of the field. These things are hooked up to E matches. The fireworks are, are ready to go. You've done the continuity test. Everything is perfect. And you decide that you're ready to fire. So you come over here, turn the system on. Make sure that the key is on the on position. Make sure that this continue button is on continue. And you're ready to fire. So firing in three two, one, firing. Okay, so the program is going. Now, let's say somebody runs out in the middle of the field and it's no longer safe, so you stop the show. Now you've paused the show in mid-firing. Okay, now whatever occurred that made that scene safe is no longer dangerous. So all you do is flip the switch back on and now the show starts where you left off. Oop. The cat next door ran out of the middle of the field. So you shut off the uh, program. The cat ran back in the woods. You're good to go. You hit it back 